Morning, church. Good morning. Shalika to Kresha and I will be explaining the meaning of the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer was carefully conceived by Jesus with certain precise aims. Jesus taught it to outline an accurate path towards God, so we should use it intelligently. If done by heart, it is a compact formula to develop the soul, for it being the only important path for the soul. The Lord's Prayer was prepared to help to that change. Jesus composed the prayer in such a way as it will pass through ages without suffering alterations. The Lord's Prayer is naturally divided in seven clauses. The number seven symbolizes the perfection of the individual soul. The Lord's Prayer can be found in Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 to 13. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our Father, these words describe God's nature and character and summarize the truth of evil. In this clause, Jesus establishes once for all the relationship between God and man, and is that of Father and Son. Man, by being God's Son, becomes participant of his nature, as the Father said to him. By saying our Father, we are revealing the fact of the blood of God of man. This disperses or dissipates the illusion that man of a particular race, nation, or color be superior to other. And when we say this prayer, not only are we praying for ourselves, but for all humanity, we are truly members of just one body. Which art in heaven. Jesus explains that God's nature is to be in heaven and men have to be on earth. But because God is cause and man is effect, or man is fabrication. The function of man is to express the manifest God's express meaning, to take out or to take the light. How be thy name. Jesus says that the nature of God is hallowed or sanctified. The original meaning of the word is holy, pure, or to heal. In the man of God's nature is to reveal to us as perfect and eternally good. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come is our mission to manifest God's ideas in the material planes. If we just discover the plan that he has, individually outlined for us and accomplish it, all doors will open before us. All obstacles will vanish and in consequence, we would enjoy happiness, success, money and all of the Father's virtues. We must harmonize ourselves so that, the end, so that we end with God's superior view because in his view is our peace. Give us their daily bread. This means that we are the children of the Father that loves us, and we can naturally expect from Him all we need it as in a natural, natural manner as children expect from their parents. It is God's will that our lives be abundant, our financial resources are no more than a channel through which comes to us with the eternal source of lives. The number of channels are infinite, but the source is one and in God. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Sin is the sensation that of being separated from God and the cause of all suffering. It comes of that feeling of separation. It is a sensation of an absolutely personal existence and forgiveness is an escape of limitation and belief. And lead us not to temptation but to deliver us from evil. In this clause, we ask to be free of all difficulties. Remembering the sentence, no plague will touch your dwelling. I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. 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 Our Father, who art in heaven. Yes. Don't interrupt me, I'm praying. But you called me. Called you? No, I didn't call you, I'm praying. Our Father, who art in heaven. There, you did it again. Did what? Called me. You said, Our Father, who art in heaven. Well, here I am. What's on your mind? But I didn't mean anything by it. It was, you know, just saying my prayers for the day. I always say the Lord's Prayer. It makes me feel good, kind of fulfilling a duty. Well, all right, go on. Okay, hallowed be thy name. Hold it right there. What do you mean by that? By what? By, hallowed be thy name. It means, it means, good grief. 
I don't know what it means. How in the world should I know? It's just a part of the prayer. By the way, what does it mean? It means honored, holy, wonderful. Hey, that makes sense. I never thought about what hallowed meant before. Thanks. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Do you really mean that? Sure, why not? What are you doing about it? Doing? Why nothing, I guess. I just think it would be kind of neat, you know, that you get control of things. Everything's up, everything's down here is out of control. We're, we're kind of in a mess right now. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, I but, go to church. But have I got control of you? Well, I go to church. That isn't what I asked you. <laughs> what about your bad temper? You really got a problem there, you know? And then, there's the way you spend your money, all on yourself. And what about the kind of books you read? Now hold on, just a minute. Stop picking on me. I'm just as good as some of the rest of those people at church. Excuse me? I thought you were praying for my will to be done. <laughs> If that is to happen, it will have to start with the ones who you are praying for, like you, for example. Oh, all right. I guess I do have some hang-ups. Now that you mention it, I could probably name some others. So could I. <laughs> I haven't thought about it very much until now, but I really would like to cut out some of these things. I would like to, you know, be really free. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. We'll work together, you and me. I'm proud of you. Look, Lord, if you don't mind, I need to finish up here. This is taking a lot longer than it usually does. <laughs> You need to, I'm sorry, go ahead. Give us this day our daily bread. You need to cut out the bread. <laughs> You're overweight as it is. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? Here I was doing my religious duty and all of a sudden you, you break in and remind me of all my hang-ups. Praying is a dangerous thing. <laughs> you just might get what you asked for. Remember, you called me, and here I am. It's too late to stop now. Keep praying. Well, go on. I'm scared to. Scared? Of what? I know what you'll say. Try me. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. What about Anne? See, I knew it. I knew you were going to bring her up. Why, Lord, she told lies about me. She spread stories. She never paid back the money she owes me. I've sworn to get even with her. What? Your prayer. What about your prayer? I didn't mean it. Well, at least you're honest. But... It's quite a load carrying around all that bitterness and resentment, isn't it? Yes, but I'll feel better as soon as I get even with her. <laughs> Boy, have I got some plans for her. Show sure as she'd never been born. <laughs> no, you won't feel any better. You'll feel worse. Revenge isn't sweet. You know how unhappy you are? Well, I can change that. You can? How? Forgive Anne. Then I'll forgive you. And the hate and the sin will be Anne's problems, not yours. You will have to settle the problem as far as you are concerned. Oh, you know, you're right. You always are. And more than I want revenge, I want to be right with you. All right, all right. I forgive her. Now there. Wonderful. How do you feel? Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. In fact, I feel pretty great. You know, 
I, I don't think I, I'll go to bed up tight tonight. I haven't been getting much rest tonight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you're not through with your prayer, are you? Go on. Oh, all right. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Good, good. I'll do that. Just don't put yourself in a place where you can be tempted. What do you mean by that? You know what I mean. Yeah, I know, okay. Okay, go ahead, finish your prayer. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Do you know what will bring me glory? What will really make me happy? No, but I'd like to know. I want to please you now. I've really made a mess of things. I want to truly follow you. And I can see now how great that would be. So tell me, how do I make you happy? You just did. <laughs> <laughs>